Christian Miracle fans out there, um, a long time since, since I've done any videos of him. So, we're going to check out everything wrong with 41 Man Battle Royal. Uh, this sounds a bit stupid. All, no, I actually did, did, I think this came out like back in 2010 or 09. I don't know, but I guess I have to see. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this right now. as an interim GM of Raw when he's clearly the full-time GM is always the sin. Right. I don't even have to say anything. General manager of Raw. See, even John Laurinaitis agrees that he's pretty much just the general manager, so this whole interim crap is, well, crap. Largest battle Raw. This 41-man battle royal uh, is just as out of nowhere as the 50-man Royal Rumble match seven years later. Yeah. It used to be 30. Really? No shiny trophy? They actually get something that would make this whole entire match worth it? Well, that actually sounds a whole lot better. Even though this is an episode of SmackDown, the raw graphics still have the stupid word Super Show on it. Which, by the way, was yeah, the dumbest thing they've done since the death of the brand split. Going with the whole Doesn't feel like a crap. Super Show when it's literally labeled that every goddamn week. Exactly. But if Cody Rhodes wins this battle royal, the rules state that the winner gets a title match against an opponent of their choosing. So, does that mean Cody could actually challenge himself for the Intercontinental Championship? As far as I know, that's legal. <laughs> match Striker randomly being in this match was honestly funny as hell. Yeah, because it was I, so yeah, weird. Um, I remember that. Did I hear that right? Josh Matthews said it was the huge largest battle royal. So, has there been a small largest battle royal in history? Poor choice of words. Hope none of you are claustrophobic. Damn, Cody won't be able to live his dream of challenging himself for the Intercontinental title after all. Hmm. LOL. With all the action going on, I just may need 40 more guest narrators for this case. Anyone want to join in? What? Not happening tonight? You said it would someday. Again, the rules of Don't even start, Michael. Johnny Curtis in a bad way, right? Johnny Curtis foreshadowing his much more superior gimmick by seemingly doing a dance move on the way out of the ring. The striker, who cares about that goofball? The guy's never won a match in his life! Yes, he has, dumbass. Take a moment and do some research. Who's the goofball now? Also, exactly. Michael Cole constantly using the word goofball to almost everyone he doesn't like. Right. The only way to be eliminated. Josh, did you not hear Michael already state the rules even if it was also annoying? What, are we going to hear that for every elimination or something? Randy Orton is the smartest wrestler in this match. I can see why he wins it. Besides, I don't blame him. This place is packed as hell, so smart strategy. Did Booker T seriously just say jizzle? What the fuck? I thought this was a PG show. <laughs> Guaranteed what? Derek Bateman is the top 1% of those who were obviously never winning this battle royal. Uh, uh, Yoshitatsu has been eliminated, and yet the commentators refuse to acknowledge that. There's got to be at least one of them watching the monitors carefully. We're back on Friday night. These commercial breaks last about three to four minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Amazing how the WWE took a chance and went to commercial break on the hopes that there wouldn't be an elimination that would be missed from the live feed. Lo and behold, it worked. John Laurinaitis for making this matchup. Um, that was clearly Teddy Long who made this match official. All John did was announce the winning prize. Booker, you flip-flop more than Netflix. Oh, fuck you. He's the champion of his choosing, the WWE champion, or Mark Henry, the current world champion. But I thought the winning prize was the winner faces the champion of his choosing. Now you're saying that there are only two options for that? Will somebody please make yeah, up their I damn mind of what's going that. on here? I was a part of the first broadcast of Friday Night Smackdown. Wasn't it Thursday Night Smackdown back when it began in 1999? Or is Michael saying he was never a part of Smackdown until it got moved to Friday Nights? Oh, well, Drew McIntyre. Josh, does that look like Drew McIntyre to you? How do you confuse Primo with Drew in any way? It's amazing how out of all these eliminations that occur, the one wrestler who the commentators miss on his elimination was Daniel Bryan. Wow. Stop talking about how yeah, this is the yeah, largest yeah. battle royal in history and actually call the damn match. I remember because yeah, James Bryan first did you. Michael so. Cole thinks this is the sense. Royal Rumble match. <laughs> Rather than sell an actual hip toss from Mason Ryan, Kurt Hawkins makes it seem like he was jumping on a trampoline and then eliminated himself from the equation. Christian, I can see that Santino was out right there. 
Clearly, neither one of Santino Morella's feet touched the floor, so how the hell could he be out of this battle royal? <laughs> Probably should have gone back into the ring first. Hard to believe this guy made it into the final two of that same year's Royal Rumble match. Let's start with Does the guy. Jack Swagger look anything like CM Punk, Michael? <laughs> Christian should have honestly the, learned by now that Mimic and his the best friend's finisher is never going to help him get the one more match he desires. <laughs> Post elimination assault. <laughs> elimination at the hands of somebody who was already previously eliminated is always a sin. Brings you to the locker room. <laughs> Down to three men? Did you already forget about the Miz who rolled out of the ring in plain sight literally 30 seconds ago? <laughs> Did Booker seriously just say, that's Randy Orton right there? Well, duh, no shit, that's Randy Orton. Oh, bam. Oh, bam. The Miz, the Miz, the Miz. Michael Cole's creepy erection for The Miz. The fight. Oh. Yeah, but who hit first? Who hit first? It's clearly obvious that The Miz hit the ground first since he landed in a vertical fashion, whereas Randy landed on the apron before hitting the floor. Don't even need a replay for that obvious fact. Well, uh, that was your uh, 40 man, 41 man battle royal video uh, done by Christian Miracles. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in my next video.